When you think of West Coast hip hop legends, DJ Quick better be on your list. If he isn't, it's time for a crash course. With roots deep in Compton and flows that go hard, DJ Quick's sound discography and career deserve some attention. David Marvin Blake, born in January 1970, emerged from Compton, a city steeped in hip hop culture and raw talent. His musical journey ignited when he earned a turntable as a gift for completing the eighth grade, planting a seed for a musical career that would leave a huge mark on hip hop. DJ Quick's innovative mixtapes, especially the acclaimed The Red Tape from 1987, quickly catapulted him to fame. With a SP-1200 drum machine, a four-track Tascam recorder, a cassette recorder, and creating his own samples of classic soul records, including James Brown and Isaac Hayes, shared with him by his mom and friends, Quick went on to produce his music. By 1990, Profile Records recognized his undeniable talent and signed him to a groundbreaking six-figure deal. A year later, he dropped his debut album, Quick is the Name, in 1991, which soared to the top 10 on the charts, propelled by his chart-topping R&B hits, Tonight and Born and Raised in Compton. Fun fact, Quick sampled N.W.A. straight out of Compton with the blessing from the group. This was during a time where artists were being sued for using other artists' music, but Quick had the green light from N.W.A. Here's a quote from Quick. So I bought the N.W.A. straight out of Compton album and just scratched Born and Raised in Compton because I felt entitled to use it and Easy e and them didn't have a problem with it. They never sued me, Dr. Dre and Ren, they never got on me about it. They actually liked the record. DJ Quick's innovative mixtapes, especially the acclaimed The Red Tape from 1987, quickly catapulted him to fame. A year after his debut, the Quickster dropped his sophomore album, which swiftly achieved gold certification. That same year marked a significant collaboration as he produced tracks alongside the legendary Easy e for Paid the Cost by Penthouse Players Click. Quick's bond with Penthouse Players Click opened doors for him at the legendary Death Row Records. His experience as a producer brought him to the boards where he made hits with artists who'd go on to become legends. Quick impressively mixed 14 songs on Tupac's All Eyes On Me in just two days, working tirelessly without heading home. DJ Quick's golden touch extended to producing chart toppers for the likes of Tony 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 and even basketball legend turned rapper Shaquille O'Neal. In 1998, he unveiled his fourth studio masterpiece, Rhythmalism, which not only charted on Billboard, it was certified gold by the Recording Academy in 1999. The album featured collaborations with hip hop heavyweights, including Nate Dogg, AMG, and Snoop Dogg, while showcasing Quick's creativity. Quick told Complex, the name Rhythmalism alone tells you what I was doing. I was mixing up rhythms. I was meshing R&B with hip hop and jazz, and a little bit of comedy. Continuing his Midas touch, Quick lent his production genius to artists such as Deborah Cox, Jermaine Dupri, Gap Band, and the iconic Whitney Houston, and even Janet Jackson. However, in a move that left the hip hop community surprised, Quick announced his short-lived retirement in early 2002. By 2003, Quick was back in front of the boards, producing Jay-Z's Justify My Thug on the Black Album. According to Quick, the song was planned to feature Madonna on the hook, but she dropped out right before the time to record. The hits didn't stop in the 2000s. His signature drum beats on 50 Cent's Dr. Dre produced single, In The Club, from Get Rich or Die Tryin', reaffirmed Quick's musical skills. To date, it remains one of hip hop's most recognizable songs with over 50 billion streams on YouTube and nine times platinum. Big shout out to DJ Quick. Didn't know you had the drums on 50 Cent's In The Club. 2005 saw DJ Quick making significant moves. He launched his very own label, Mad Science Recordings, and soon after, debuted Trauma, his first independent album, which rapidly sold over 100,000 copies. Adding another achievement, Quick took to Hollywood, orchestrating a captivating score for the Chris Rock and Bernie Mac starring comedy, Head of State, employing an impressive 74-piece orchestra. In 2008, Quick and Snoop Dogg teamed up and magic happened. They worked together on Ego Trippin', and they vibed so well, they formed a whole production group called QDT. That's Quick, Dog, and Teddy, for those keeping score. 
talk about a power trio. When Quick rolled out his A Studio album, The Book of David, it was like a musical feast. Legends like Ice Cube, Busy Bone, John B, and Dwale lended their voices. Then, Quick teamed up with the likes of Snoop Dogg, Battle Cat, and DOC to lay down four tracks for Dr. Dre's elusive Detox album. As the 2010s unfolded, Quick was nowhere near hitting the brakes. New school artists, including Tyler the Creator, Kendrick Lamar, and Terrace Martin all give props to Quick for inspiring them. In 2016 and 2017, Quick collaborated with West Coast rapper Problem for his Rosecrans EP, then album, which featured fire appearances from artists including Buddy, The Game, Don Kennedy, and Wiz Khalifa. Think classic West Coast flavors mixed with a touch of nostalgia and the pulse of new anthems. It wasn't just a hit, it was a statement, sealing Quick's name and hip hop lore. From the streets of Compton and South Central to international stages, DJ Quick has infused the signature West Coast sound into some of the biggest songs in hip hop, adding his name to the list of producers who keep the genre alive. While his discography doesn't miss, his power, skill, and creativity from behind the boards are connected to some of the biggest hip hop hits from the last three decades. DJ Quick's journey is a testament to perseverance and talent. DJ Quick doesn't just make music, he creates art. Had no idea you work with Whitney Houston, 14 tracks with Tupac. DJ Quick, you're a legend. <laughs>